This video is brought to you by TEN, our debut hardcover book celebrating 10 issues of The Local Project. Use the code BOOK5 at checkout for a 5% discount. Mafiti is located on the western shores of Waiheke Island, which is in the Hauraki Gulf, just off the coast of Auckland, which is the largest city of New Zealand. It's an idyllic place, a kind of a paradise, only a half an hour ferry trip from the city. The house was designed for two sisters who found this extraordinary piece of land, looking out onto the, the Gulf and towards Rangitoto, and their idea really was to create a visitor experience which was unique, something that had a real character of New Zealand about it, and something that wasn't really available when they looked around for places to, to rent or stay. Mafiti is the Māori language word for escape, and that's very much what the essence of this house is. We call it a holiday retreat, but it's really a place of restoration and rejuvenation. It's about creating a kind of a calmness in your life, but also has an uplifting quality. It's an expansive site on the west coast of Waiheke. Uh, it's got native bush in the gullies down each side, mature Puhutakawa trees along the edge, and where the house itself is situated is on a promontory just above the beach. The form of the house evokes the Māori meeting house, the whare, and that sort of open porch on the front. And that idea of welcome, of hospitality, that that engenders was very important to us. The other main influence on the design was this idea of the rural barn. You could say generic or archetypal gable form in the landscape. We're trying to combine these two ideas, the barn with its utility, with its unpretentiousness, its corrugated iron roof, but also the idea of the whare, which has a sort of a deep spirit of place, and these are the things that we're trying to bring to this design. The Gateway Pavilion actually has a very interesting backstory. Probably 14 years ago, we designed it to be the New Zealand entry for the Venice Architecture Biennale, and the idea was to make a building out of timber from New Zealand and transport it back to Venice, the ancient stone city, something from the New World going to the Old World. And we wanted to do something innovative with timber. So we created this building, which is all made of straight pieces of pine, but it actually has a, an intensely sculptural effect and creates quite an extraordinary experience when you actually move through the building. It starts at one end with uh, the form of the iconic whare, and the building morphs as you move through it into a kind of free form organic sculpture of triangulated geometries and, and fanning ribs. And it sort of almost becomes something like from the landscape. And then it returns again to the whare form at the other end. And the idea is that the house was in conversation with that building. It had a lot of common elements. It had the triangulated geometry. It had the sculptural effect. It had the materiality of the timber and it was sort of articulated in that same sort of angular fashion. We wanted both of these structures to feel that they really belonged in the landscape, that they were empathetic to the landscape. So you might see with the house that it's, it's broken into three different pavilions and they radiate out across the site. And this follows the contour and creates this sort of sense that the, the building fits the landscape. And it also creates these really interesting areas between these pavilions, which you'll see we've utilized to create these micro courtyards off the bathrooms. One of the bathrooms opens onto a larger courtyard, and in that courtyard is a big copper tub. It's sort of like a Japanese style bath where you're sitting in a quite an upright way. And at sunset, it is really extraordinary uh, to sit in that steaming water and uh, be exposed to such an extraordinary view. We wanted the building to have a soulful feel. We wanted it to have a kind of an earthy tactility about it. We did not want it to be slick or shiny. We really wanted it to have this, this more earthy effect 
which gave you a sense of calm and a sense of uh, sort of getting back to something more basic. This was born out of the materiality of the interior, the burnished concrete floors left plain, the pine ceilings and linings on the walls, which are just oiled with, with a pale white oil. We just wanted to leave things natural and, and a little bit raw. I'm proud of the way the building sits in the landscape in a, a way which is both bold, but also very empathetic. We were trying to create a distinctive New Zealand experience with this house that people from around New Zealand or overseas could experience. And it feels like we've done that. It really has this uplifting, almost spiritual vibe to it. And the people who stay here really attest to that. This video is brought to you by Ten, our debut hardcover book celebrating 10 issues of The Local Project. Ten unites the very best projects from the first 10 issues of the publication into a beautiful single volume. With over 400 pages of architecture and design from both leading and emerging creatives, the hardcover book takes readers on a curated and meditative journey. The premium paper stock of the book means 10 is an enduring addition to a coffee table or library to be enjoyed for years to come. With worldwide delivery available, have 10 delivered directly to your door. Head to the link in the video description to purchase your copy now and use the code BOOK5 at checkout for a 5% discount.